Hey there, how's going? Welcome to Loop Learnings. This is video number 16. We are making school management system. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Either way, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please make sure that you do. Hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever I upload a new video. Right, so what are we doing? Well, in this particular video, we are going to make a form for fee structure. You know, in a school or academy or university or college, you have a class and you have a different type of fee for every single class. So what I did in in offline mode basically is to save yours and my time. I've created this form. I've added a couple of boxes, text boxes and combo boxes. I've linked them with the respective tables. I have also created the query and this is the query called fee structure queue and i'll take you to the design view of this query so you can see and maybe you can practice if you are practicing now in this query i have the original table called the fee structure then i have the secondary tables that are linked with this particular primary table so that's how the query looks like now you must be thinking why query why do we need query because we are saving the data in the table so why query well query as by name it stands we can understand query is used to fetch the information whenever whatever information we are required with okay so that's what we are going to so we'll take information from here and we'll display on this little list box that's the purpose okay now let me go to the form view so as I said, I have, have I have some controls over it and I have two buttons. So first we begin or we'll be coding with add new button. Now by name, it is self-explanatory that you use this button to kind of create a new record. Okay. This button you use to update the existing record. So that's the purpose. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go to design view. First thing first, I'm going to actually select these because they are non-editable user doesn't have to do any entry here so why not we just you know kind of block them or or so user cannot edit these fields so we'll go to the property we'll go to the data we'll say enable no locked yes and we go to the format and we do this back color change okay now for adding a new record, what is mandatory? Well, these three fields are mandatory. There has to be some information in order for us to proceed further. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and put these logics in VB coding. So, we'll go to the add new button. Go to the event tab, dot, dot, dot. I've already got the error handling code block. Now, let's move on and let's say if nz me dot class id equals double quote double quote then to cmd dot b message box please choose the class okay and then you say we be critical and then you say information and then we set the focus also me dot class id dot set focus all right we copy that entire thing we come here else and then we paste here me dot fee type id because that's the next field if you in case if you don't know so field type id fee type not field type so rather than id we just say fee type then we have another text box which is fee so that also should not be empty so instead of instead of fee id we just say fee okay there we go and since we have opened this with if statement let's close that with the end if statement so we don't forget this now what next well next is we will take the information from this form okay and we will save it here fee structure table this is the table where the data will be stored 
So that's what we are going to achieve and we are going to achieve with record set. Now let's come here and let's say uh, no not on it. Tim RS create as a record set. Alright. Now after this we come here and we say else. Okay, and we say set rs create equals current tb dot open record set parenthesis open parenthesis close what is the record set name fee structure okay and now we say rs create dot add new and then we say rs create dot update okay so that's what we do now within these two line of codes we will type in the code which will actually help us to take the information from these text boxes or the combo boxes and store them here that's what we are going to do and record set in vba access will help us to do exactly the same so let's go ahead and uh, let's add a couple of lines here so rs create exclamation mark class id equals me dot class id okay now i'm going to copy that paste a couple of times to save your and my time and we say here we go so here we go see so that's why i always advise you know what i always advise that keep the naming for these controls onto the form or onto the report same as the database that's very important status we are going to hard code that status hard coding we will do and we'll say active in here date will be format and we say now and we say day month year okay that's what we're going to do right now we have all the information which means all of these text boxes combo boxes whatever information is stored there it will go and sit in this table that's the area where it the information sits right that's the area where the information stores now what next think about it logically now you have added all the information what next well i want that information to be displayed on today's list box so i get the confirmation that yeah whatever record i have created it is actually created it it exists in the database that's why the record is being populated here so how do i do that well it's very easy but before i do that i have, I have to do a couple of things number one because you have opened a record set you have to close it okay so I will type in here, okay. Then I throw a confirmation message to cmd.beep, okay. Message box, the record has been created successfully, okay. Comma, will be critical comma information, okay. And then what is the next logic well i want that this list box to display the information that i've just created how do i do that well it's a simple line of code me dot list dot requery how about that that's it this little line of code will actually require the record and will it display the information now think about it as a user after this what should happen well, as a user, I would like these text boxes or combo boxes should be cleared out with the information. So I can, I am ready to add a new record. That's the purpose. UI, UX enhancement. Okay, so I, how do I do that? Well, it's quite simple. Me dot class ID equals double quoter. Me dot fee type ID equals double quote, double quote. Me dot fee equals double quote double quote by the way all of these how if you if you're thinking how he knows well because they are they exist on the form 
okay now class id fee type id fee status status date okay there we go that's it done we are done with the one button so let's debug it there is an error and what is the error Data state. Hmm. I forgot to add equals to. There we go. So debugging is good. Do that. Okay. Now let's do the update button. Uh, VBA rec uh, record set. Let's add that. But let's look at the logic. Logic is this table might exist of hundred, thousands, ten thousands. 20,000 ish records. In that case, you have to find the record which is chosen by the user in the entire record set. So, how do we do that? Well, we will achieve with the help of VBA. So, let's go ahead and do that. So, first we will say if nz me dot structure id equals double quote, double quote, then to cmd.beep message box please choose the record to proceed further okay now let's have this okay right we then go ahead and else and if and now we will use the record set to update the record so we'll say tim rs update as record set and then we come here and we say set rs update equals current tb dot open record set print open print c close double quote double quote and we again type the name of the table fee structure t that's the name okay comma and tb open dyna set that's how you do it now remember i was telling that this table may have hundred thousand ten thousand records so we have to find the record which is chosen by the user on the form so how do we do that well again we choose we use uh, we choose that record using vba record set so we'll say rs update dot find first so what do we need to find well we need to find structure id equals emphasis me dot structure id if we found that and definitely we will then go ahead and edit the record so rs rs update dot edit rs update dot update okay there you go now in here we take that information so rather than i type it again i go in here and i actually take this entire thing from here okay and i paste in here all right so here we go everything is done now after that we need to do some changes here so instead of rs create we will have rs update okay because we are no longer creating record we are updating the record but i've copy and pasted because everything is exactly the same so rs update dot close remember we have to close that and then we take the exact same thing entire thing we copy that because we are going to do the exact same thing so why should i type it again and in here me dot structure id equals to good that's what we'll do all right that's it i think so instead of create it you say update it save that debug compile no error seems to be okay let's go ahead and test it so form view 
there we go there we go it's working so first let's create admission fee let's say it's uh, 1000 the record has been created successfully it is actually success message but you know i have not changed the type of success message here we go there is an error as well so what is the error let's see let's see so record is not created that means something is wrong good we are going to do some error handling so that's good let's see what's wrong in here create dot add new dot update okay right uh, you know what is the best thing best thing is just let's go there let's remove this and this by the way is the success message now let's try to create let's see what message appears and then we can do the diagnosis so what it says Microsoft uh, database engineer cannot find the input table you see fee structure T so access cannot find this table now this is what exactly I was talking about that you know in the previous video maybe not in this video that the table name or the record set name exactly has to be same so I have I have typed in fee structure I have just skipped T and access is struggling of course it will because access is following the logic which we have given the logic to the access right let's uh, create again and again we have a data conversion error let's look at that this is weird okay look at this look at this that's what happens you know <laughs> that's why copy and paste is uh, kind of dangerous too so make sure that you know you don't get these kind of troubles let's create now now finally we got it created okay let's uh, so this also there's a of course we have copy pasted the entire thing that means update will also have a error so let's go ahead and first of all let's change this to information is here is he here okay that's not good sometime when you do copy and paste you end up having these errors so i will keep this i will not remove this part of the video i'm not ashamed of it because you know it can happen it definitely can happen with anyone especially when we're doing copy and paste so that's fine and that's the purpose of that's how you learn the um, what do you call the vb coding now let's say uh, instead of 1000 it was 800 so let's uh, update the record whether it gets updated or not yep this guy this time it gets updated let's add a new type of fee so tuition fee let's say 1300 okay all right here we go let's add another fee for sixth class let's say exam fee so let's say 220 there we go so you see it is being added and it is working well that's how you do the VB coding, use the record sets and the query. I hope that you have learned something. If you have not, please do let me know in the comments below and uh, make sure that you subscribe if you have not and hit the bell icon so you get notification and hit the, uh, you get notification whenever I upload any video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.